a three month old hiv positive child hiv positive is important following upper respiratory tract infection developed sudden onset of breathlessness with intermittent expiratory wheezing three month old child any child between 2 to 12 2 months to 2 years develops uri like symptoms followed by onset of wheezing and crackles think of bronchiolitis and this is a immunosuppressed child the chest x-ray shows hyperinflation bronch uh, x-ray in bronchiolitis can be normal it can show hyperinflation oxygen saturation was greater than 90% the treatment of choice is four options now, because bronchiolitis is mainly a viral infection caused by RSV, so there is no role of cotrimoxazole and IV gun cyclovir are ruled out. Now, the question here is whether we should be giving conservative management or we should be going for ribavirin. These are the two options and the answer to this question is ribavirin. Please remember that whenever you have a child with acute bronchiolitis, in acute bronchiolitis, there will be a child between two months to two years presenting with a features of upper respiratory like illness suddenly developing so there will be fever of coryza for a couple of days followed by development of bilateral wheezing with or without crackles with or without hypoxemia hypoxemia and crackles are variable can be seen but bilateral wheeze will be strongly present Chest x-ray may be showing normal or there may be some degree of hyperinflation in these patients. Normally, conservative management is indicated in most of these patients. However, if the child is having any of these problems, if the child is having a congenital heart disease, particularly significant left to right shunt, if the child is having a chronic pulmonary disease, for example, cystic fibrosis, if the child is preterm child less than 35 weeks of age and in case the child is having neuromuscular severe neuromuscular dysfunction so the chest excursion may not be appropriate in the child and finally if the child is having any immunosuppression or immunodeficiency for example HIV or prolonged steroid therapy these are the patients in which life-threatening illness can develop and so for the purpose of treatment you will be using ribavirin in the patient and also in this category for future prophylaxis prophylactic monoclonal antibody called as palivizumab may be considered it is not mandatory but it may be considered in these patients so when they ask about therapy ribavirin in this in these uh, any of these indications are present if they ask prophylaxis palivizumab may be indicated